welcome to my Let's Play of Resident Evil Co Veronica X. The quote unquote HD version. Now, before we start off anything, I'm going to say one thing. If you have this on any other system, on the GameCube or the PS2, don't buy it. The quote unquote HD version isn't actually HD. It looks like it is, but it isn't. It's not like in the proper resolution and stuff. Well, it's showing that it is on my H on my Hapog HD PVR, but I still don't. Believe it. So I can also say that most of you probably didn't see this coming. I was thinking of hinting at it in my capture card test video, but. Eh, I didn't feel like it. I'm lazy. But anyway, yeah, if you, um, I'll go on a bit more about why not to buy this version of the game after we watch the intro, so I will see you all the Resident Evil. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Three months later, Identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility ten days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams.
before we take it out later, we might as well check out this. Playing manual. And I remember that intro looking a lot better. You know, when I was playing in standard definition, not HD. Actually, the game looks a lot better than it did when I was testing it out. Yeah, because I'm playing in a different res resolution. Before, I accidentally put to 1080i, and now I'm doing in 720. Well, playing in 720, rather. I don't know if you can actually deposit that book. I never tested. So... Perfect. Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. The troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Now this guy over here was actually the same guy in the intro who captured Claire. Hmm, quite a change of heart, huh? Like one second he's we're facing him down with a gun, and now he's just letting us go. So something else I think I'll do is I'll kind of tell what the difference between regular Code Veronica is and um the Dark Side Chronicles version. It's, there's not really that much differences besides like um visuals and stuff. Because they actually did significantly change the models. We also have a herb in here that I actually only realized is now here my second time going through. I never thought there would be one there. And I already checked that. We also have a knife, which, as most of you know, the knife is at its prime in this game. But I still don't recommend it, because this game gives you a lot of ammo, so you'll be fine without it. I'm not going to grab that ink ribbon there. I'm going to leave that, because we're going to have to revisit this place, if none of you could guess. This looks like a door, but we can't go through it. Something unique to this game is that sometimes when climbing or, go, or going through doors, Claire's heart will actually beat. You'll usually know if something's going to happen thanks to that. It's raining and it somewhat doesn't put out a, a, a lighter. And they're naked zombies, none for that. Oh, I didn't get hit there, nice. I love how Claire, like, practically forgot all about zombies. No! 
Zombie? Well, great. We're right there. I'm coming over. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding, but I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. Well, once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. And thanks to that guy, we now have a not fully loaded handgun. That guy is Steve. Steve Burnside. I might be spoiling things, but let me talk about Steve. He is the worst thing about this game. Yeah, he's a pain in the ass. He's you'll see why. And trust me, you will come to hate him. And there should be a herb around here. Or not. I love how the first few zombies we see are naked. Well, one isn't. But yeah, the T-Virus is now all over the place. Unless there's some sort of new virus. Maybe the G, or the T, or the A, or the R virus. Because, you know, we have the C-Virus now in Resident Evil 6. Now, the game really isn't in actual HD. Resolution's bumped up, but it doesn't really look that much better. And honestly, if you don't have the game, like, um, ooh. Um, like, if you don't have the game, and you have no other version of the game, then that should be your only reason for getting this version. If you're already, like, unlike Devil May Cry 3, well, not Devil May Cry 3, Devil May Cry HD, there's no reason to actually get this game. There is no Platinum Trophy for this game, or is it new 4HD? That's right, Capcom was that lazy. You know what, don't believe me? Let me show you. I have 57%, but all the trophies are still related, and... Yeah, there's only two that, are, uh, that you may not know how to get. One which is kind of cryptic, but yeah, there's no Platinum Trophy for this game or Resident Evil 4 HD. It is completely lazy on Capcom's part. It looks a bit better, but not that much better. In huh. Oh, damn it! Also, something else that's annoying about this game is zombies love to respawn after a certain point. Those zombies in there will respawn when you're done here, if you kill them. That's why I didn't bother to kill them and took unnecessary damage. We have our first log here. Well, file, or whatever you want to call it. Even though this game was made after Resident Evil 3, some of the things that were brought in to Resident Evil 3, like the dodging feature and the ability walk on stairs manually without pressing the action button. That's not in this game. The ability to dodge is technically in 4 games after 4, but I don't know why they took it out. It was 
hard to do. I played three barely, but I never really got to do it. But yeah. I don't know why they took out the ability to manually walk on stairs, because that's pretty useful in this game. Because zombies can't grab you on stairs, and that's why that would make knifing really easy to do in this game. Much easier than it has to be. I'm almost full on inventory, actually. Well, I'm probably going to have to use one of these herbs. I'm sure nothing's gonna happen if we take this hang and ammo, so let's do it. We've got a crap. Oh my god, I totally didn't see that coming. Even the first time when I saw it played this. Yeah, this is where the horror feature in this the horror theme kinda started to go in the series. Like, the whole heartbeat thing, you that, that really gives it away that something scary is gonna happen. Or something bad. Damn it! Oh god, I'm totally screwed. Oh wow, I didn't get hit. Nice. And this one zombie didn't come out. Thank you for not doing that. And I'm still somehow on fine. Yeah, the whole zombies respawning thing is really going to be annoying later in the game. Um, damn it. How to... Oh, there's a fourth in here? I think there's... Actually, no, there's nothing else in there. What am I talking about? So surprised I'm on I'm on five. I've been here like four times, which is a great omen for this let's play, because I don't know this game nearly as well as two or the original, and obviously four, of course. And also that kind of gives away that something is gonna happen when we run back to the first area, which. It was nice to be playing this in actual HD. Well, in a high resolution. I can also say if I had the PS2 version. Damn it. Um, again, if you don't have this game, like, what I'm saying is if. Like, if you have the PS2 or GameCube version, it's honestly not worth it. Because the thing is, like, literally, there's no trophies. The game is barely patched up. And it's just all around not worth it. And really, I don't know why they didn't put a platinum, because they put a platinum in the Devil May Cry HD pack for each game. And everyone knows how Capcom is with Devil Please May Cry now. Any metallic items and I'm not blaming them, because... Well, honestly, I think what they're doing with the series is pretty stupid. Not just rebooting it, but the new new art direction. It just doesn't look good at all, the art direction. And, and the new Dante looks like a tool, honestly. So we also have some stuff here. We have grenade rounds, which give you a hint to a future weapon. These... Gas rounds are interesting. The only game they appear in, these are the only ones in the game. We have flame rounds over there, which isn't the only one in the game. And a first aid spray, which we can't take out because it's metal. I might be saving periodically because I don't really, I guess again, I don't really know my way through this game as well as the other games. I played for like three times, but. It's easy to get lost in this game a lot more than the other games. Because it's at this point where they really start to get crazy with the item placement. In 3, it's actually realistic. Like, you know, you'll find keys on a key rack. I know. And other stuff like that. 
But here things are kind of getting really absurd. And it's, I think, around here where Capcom... Maybe? No, it's Zero, I think, where they realize the series is kind of wearing out, and that's where they're at the floor. Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey! I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. What was that all about? <laughs> 